But let me say a little something about leap day. Now we have this uh, Gregorian calendar with uh, 12 months and um, it's a little, you know, wonky. It doesn't work out perfectly because the planet is a little wonky. And, you know, every uh, four years, February has an extra day, February 29th today, which is leap day. And for me, it's, you know, just the idea of that, that it only comes once every four years. And if you know me, you know my affinity for the number four, that every four years we get this day that only occurs every four years. And it, uh, for me, is often been some special sort of day. When um, in, in 2004, I guess, um, leap day, February 29th, 2004, was the day I left Los Angeles. It was the day of the Oscars. And that was the day that I decided I would launch. And for me, as a, as a youngster, I wasn't into sports, but I loved movies. So the Oscars was like my Super Bowl when I was younger. And then I got to the point where I, I don't know, matured out of that a little bit. I still love movies, don't get me wrong. And even at that point, I still wanted to be into them. But I didn't feel at home in Los Angeles. And I didn't feel like that's where I really wanted to make my home and my whole career and all of that. And I decided that was when I was going to leave. And I had my friend Lauren uh, drive me to the um, Palm Springs rest area and drop me off. And then I hitchhiked uh, to Phoenix. The first guy stopped and he said, you want to go to Phoenix? Uh, Phoenix, Arizona. And so it was an amazing time for me because I had just read a uh, uh, Harry Potter book, Order of the Phoenix. And I'd been reading Joseph Campbell and read about the Phoenix there. And I had gone to this sweat lodge and there was a woman there who had like a tattoo of a phoenix all over her body. And so that that was the first words mentioned to me on my trip back across America uh, was when I go to Phoenix. It truly did um, make me become a, a totally different person. I did rise from whatever ashes I went there. And then I smoldered into ashes again by the end of that trip. But that's another story. It was still a giant leap for me. And then four years ago, February 29th, uh, 2020, I did the Leap Day Hootenanny, and for me, that was like, it was like the first time I had had a live performance where I had a drummer, um, Reyes Dorico played drums, um, I had uh, John uh, Hooper played uh, a mandolin, and um, even Martha Robinson came out and did some uh, background vocals on a few songs, and it was just an amazing event. Of course, the last live event I would have, because like the following day, uh, the uh, pandemic broke out. <laughs> we all got locked down. So that for me was a leap in doing this live music and uh, playing as a band. And later the band, I got some other band players to, to do some things and we did some gigs and that was what it is. And now on this leap day, I just recorded the first track, a guitar track for the 65th song that I had written. And I wrote it just a few days ago uh, with the, the lovely and talented Saisha Mercado and uh, She's going to be in the next few days recording her vocals on that. And we're going to be producing uh, many more songs together uh, as our plan. And so this is a, me launching into this new uh, tribe with this amazing person who I've um, idolized for years. And she loves my songs. And so we're going to be doing some songs together. And I'm very excited about that. So in addition to also planning to drive across, ride my motorcycle across the country again this summer, um, I'm going to be putting out these great songs with this amazing voice, and uh, I could not be happier about this. I mean, it's it's so exciting for me. So um, it's been a long time coming, and Saisha and I are very excited about it. And so uh, I did put out a little bit of a clip the other day, uh, and not many people saw it. I was really hoping more people would. Maybe they will eventually. But um, to hear Saisha's voice again is amazing. I've I told her the other day, I think one of the tragedies of my life is that she hasn't recorded more songs. And so we are leaping into changing that this year. So expect to hear some uh, more songs coming out. And uh, it's very exciting. And I hope this leap day is everything you need it to be. And I hope you use this day uh, as one of those infinite times when it only comes around once every four years. And so this day, I hope is special for you in some regard. And if it ain't, well, I hope tomorrow is special because it's the first day of March. And that means something, probably. <laughs> Anyhow, have a wonderful leap day. Have a wonderful day. Uh, see ya. Bye.